So we go to Magento Admin and first thing that you need to do is to create configurable attributes. Each option or variant of Magento configurable product your customer sees in the drop-downs from the front end is based on configurable attribute that you as a store owner should set up before creating the product itself. Attributes are created separately from the product, since different products can share the same or have different attributes. Thus, you firstly generate attribute and then use it while creating the product itself, indicating the attribute set with needed attributes. For example, if you are selling t-shirts, you can use the same attribute set for them as you use for pullovers. For shoes, you most likely need other size options and thus uh, other attributes and or attribute set even. Okay, in our example we have a product t-shirt with three sizes and three colors. So your customer will be able to customize or configure the product choosing the options of size and color. And now you, you need to create two configurable attributes named size and color. So we go to attributes, manage attributes and press add new. And then we indicate the attribute code, code, we indicate color, then do not forget to, to um, set scope global, scope global, input type drop down, input type drop down, also apply to all products, and option you to create configurable product to yes. Next we go to the tab manage label options. We indicate admin label. We add the options. For color we have white, blue and yellow. Thus we add the options named white, blue and yellow. And we save the attribute. We save the attribute and do the same for the attribute of size. We add new attribute, indicate the attribute code of size Okay, we indicate size. Next, we have to put scope global, input type drop down, apply to all product types, and used to create configurable product should be set to yes. Next, we go to manage label options tab. There, we indicate admin code, and for size, we have the options small medium and large. Small, medium and large. And we save the attribute. Now you have to add those newly created attributes to the attribute set. We go to Catalog, Attributes, attri Manage Attribute Sets. In case you, in case you um, didn't assign those attributes to the attribute set, they won't be it, any chance to use them while creating configurable products. So there we have two attribute sets and to make sure that you assign uh, the attributes to the attribute set which you're going to use while creating configurable products. So we assign them and save, press save attribute set. Okay. Uh, we have, as I told you, we have two attribute sets. Uh, we will assign those uh, attributes to two attribute sets, but in fact, uh, you use the one which you're going to use while creating configurable product itself. Okay, so now we created attributes and assigned them to the attribute set, and uh, then we go to the procedure of creation of Magento configurable product itself. And naturally, you will ask, which is the correct order? Should one create first all the variations of simple products and then generate one configurable product, or vice versa? Actually, both ways are possible, since the process is double-sided and will be equally effective no matter if you create simple products or configurable in the first place. So let's try to do it. I will start from configurable product and later on you'll understand why. So I create configurable product. I go to catalog, manage products, and press add new product. I select the attribute set to which I assigned newly created configurable attributes. We are going to use the default one. And also um, set product type, it should be configurable product. Press continue. 
Next, I need to check those attributes which I want to use to create configurable product. We use color and size. We press continue to proceed. Next, we have to fill in all the required uh, fields. They are marked. So, indica we indicate the name of the product. We type T-shirt. Also, the description, short description and other fields are re required should be filled in. Otherwise, you won't be able to save the product. SKU should be unique. Also, status should be enabled. And visibility catalog search. In this way, you will be able to find your product and it will be correctly reflected from the front end. We go to the tab Prices. We put the price of configurable product and tax class. We use none. Next step is Inventory. Make sure that your product uh, is in stock in order to be sh it to be shown at the front end. Also, we have one website, but in case you have multiple websites, you should assign the product to the correct website. Next step is categories. Please assign the product to some category. Okay, and finally we go to the tab Associated Products. From Magento Admin, it is possible to create simple products at the page where you link associated simple products to one general configurable product. To be able to see this option, you have to press Save and continue Edit. Okay, so now we see the quick simple product creation form. And from this place, we can generate all the variations of a simple product. So we have one general configurable product t-shirt, and we have three sizes and three colors. Thus, uh, we need to have nine variations of simple products. Uh, simple, each simple product should have uh, the unique combination of size and color, so they can be associated to one general configurable product. So basically we have to create the products t-shirt size small color white, t-shirt size medium color white, t-shirt size, uh, size large color white, t-shirt size small color blue, and so on and so forth. So basically all the variations. In case you won't create all the variations, they won't be shown at the front end. We will create uh, a couple of variants uh, for you to show it on the example and um, you yourself have to create all the variations. Not to waste your time and to show it on the example, we create a couple of uh, variations. Also, do not forget to indicate the quantity of your um, associated simple products, otherwise uh, the product won't be available for purchase and won't be shown in the drop-down. So we go to, um, so we go down and at the bottom of the page you see all those newly created associated simple products that are used for this configurable product. To save the associations we have to press the appropriate button. Okay, so now we created simple products and as you know it's the bulk procedure and maybe for that you have to do the ray index and clear your cache. So we see that it is required from our side, that is why we have to do it. So a couple of minutes and we will do just re-index of our data and clear cache. Go to cache management and flush our Magento cache in order for the changes to be shown at the front end. Okay, so now we can check the result at the front end. Okay, we refresh our web page and go to the category to which er, we assigned our configurable product. So we see one general configurable product, t-shirt, with two drop-downs of color and size. And in the drop-downs you see the variations which we just, we just created. So in order to be able to select second drop-down, it's obligatory for you to select first drop-down. 